Howdy, for this lab we're going to be adding uh, some data into ArcGIS and to ArcGIS Online. Basically what we're going to do is design a well location and make sure we have the spacing and everything correct for it. So the location that we're going to look at putting at is up here in the Panhandle of Texas and we're going to use the Texas well spacing rules for Ochiltree County into the Pan Pedro Cleveland field. So when we do that, what we need to do is go through and, and obviously search for that and I'll have uh, some information about that. But when we zoom into an area, we're going to look at that we have our little uh, company, if you will, that's going to get a lease into section 55 which is right here and we're trying to put as many wells as we can into this uh, 640 acres here so one of the things that we need to do is probably investigate all the wells around us and pull those plats so when you zoom into that area here you want to make sure you hit wells here and then you can just click on the well if you will and then go to well permits and then from there you can pick on the name and then zoom down and for example then hit like the plat. Now on the plat what we're going to do is we're going to try to uh, duplicate what we see on the plat. So I'll bring the plat over here. It's one of the plats that I've drawn. And you can see where I've taken a 320 acres in that track actually and put a well location but I also have another well location that's already in there uh, or where I'm proposing and you can see all the information that I have uh, for this I'll put this in that uh, in that example so I want to try to reduplicate what you see here basically using RGIS online okay so I'll have some videos that'll show you how to bring in the wells put in your well points, put in your well bore information, create your title block and put the information in there. And also do some leveling, I mean some labeling with arcade and uh, do some some data joins as well. All right, so if you have any questions, give me a call. Okay, if you're searching for field rules uh, for the formation you want to penetrate, uh, you can type in uh, or start to type in some of the first three letters and it'll show up the different field rules. We're going to look at the Pan Pedro Cleveland as the one we want to try to penetrate. Now in here it says the line spacing, uh, the, the lease spacing, and acres per unit tolerance. If you want to understand that a little bit better you can go to the illustration here and it talks about here you have the lease spacing and then you have the perpendicular line spacing this is horizontally how far you need to stay off and then say your last take point or your first take point how far you need to be off away how far the terminus needs to be and then the spacing uh, between the wells and then where your penetration point is your first take point your last take point and your terminus your penetration point could be where your first take point and sometimes you don't know because you might have a back build that brings you in that gets you you know right up to the location where you first can take or you could be off lease and you might penetrate and then come into there so look at that to understand that as well so what it's saying basically is that we have a lease spacing uh, for the special rules 330 for leasing and then well spacing 933 and then only 160 acres per unit for each horizontal drill and 4500 maximum diagonal length. Now to understand some of these rules a little bit better uh, for both the gas and the oil and you'll see that they're basically the same here and uh, in the, the, the unit for the Cleveland is 7120 to 7268 for the uh, depth. You could go down here and look at the uh, final order document and there's more details that explains how they came up with these rules and key things that you want to look inside here is such as the take point in a horizontal drill well 
is any point along the horizontal drain well where the oil and gas can be produced in the wellbore. The horizontal drain hole wells may penetrate or terminate within the field interval at any location on a lease pulled unit or unitized track, provided that the points in the horizontal drain now will or well shall be a minimum of 330 feet from the property line. So this is saying that your take points can be 330, but you could penetrate, you know, sooner than that into your permutation. And you actually can penetrate uh, outside your lease. You might have to get a uh, subsurface easement. Uh, if you're off lease and you're, you're going uh, through uh, a, another's subsurface uh, minerals, all right? So then also all take points in a horizontal drain hole well shall be a minimum distance of 933 from an existing permitted or applied for horizontal drain hole well take points or the same lease unit or well on same lease or unit or unitized track. Provided the restrictions on spacing between horizontal wells shall not be the horizontal drain hole that are parallel or subparallel within a 45 degrees to second about, you know, when you have some that are coming in one direction and they might be coming or, or, or merging together, uh, how to address that. There are no minimum between well spacing requirements for take points in a horizontal well to any other existing permit or applied for vertical well. So there's no separation between horizontal and vertical wells, but you definitely want to try to avoid any horizontal and vertical wells that you don't have any collision into existing well bores that might be out there. So looking through this and understanding the uh, the sizes each one of the units you have to go through and also understand like okay so you can only have 160 acres notwithstanding above the acreage assigned to oil and gas trees has been drilled in a horizontal may contain more than 160 acres provided that you use the formula that is here so you can go more than 160 acres or per acre uh, per, per uh, well as long as you look at you know adding this additional information here all right so go through look at these very much understand these because we're going to apply these rules when we go to design our well okay so i have my wells data information in here my survey data and my elf energy well points i'm going to go in here and change the symbology of my survey so i'm going to go in here and use my hollow black uh, outline portion and I'll just keep that and I'll zoom into an area here what I want to do here now is I'm going to right click and go in and I'm going to change the labeling properties now you can see from the labeling properties that really nothing is turned on or actually it has area turned on I'm going to copy the little bit of code that I gave previously and put that in there so that we can see that and I'll delete that and hit that and then hit check uh, seems to have a little bit of problems here so maybe in the copy yeah what does that be in there we'll get rid of that so now let's just check that okay it valid it worked okay turn it on let's hit apply but no labelers are on so I might have to just come in here and check and turn the labels on uh, from that standpoint and it, it will then uh, update and label uh, everything inside these areas. Now that I've got that all uh, turned on from that element, I'm going to go in here now and I'm going to look at maybe editing the points and adding points in my 55 that I have here. And let me just zoom that over here. Let's get rid of the unselect button there and go to our number select I'm sorry escape okay so now I can zoom into my section 55 that I have here and say for example I want to add some points I will then go to click on it 
modify I might create points get rid of that and then go in here and put the surface points uh, maybe my point, uh, you know take points uh, my last point and save that data set for example and have it create and utilize that information. So now I also want to go in and create a new data set. So to do that, what I need to do is I need to go back to my catalog and I'm going to go to catalog here and I'm going to go to my databases. Right click on my database and I'm going to say new and I'm going to do a feature class. So inside here, I'm going to create a new feature class for both my boundary and for my elf well. So I'll call it the elf uh, energy well bore. All right, and this is going to be a polyline. And go through here, save that, run that. It'll add to a data set here. Then I'll edit that and I'll want to connect those lines through there. Then I want to do another one and make a uh, okay, sorry, that was, should have been a polygon. Make a polygon for my elf uh, land uh, B, for example. And then go through and edit that and make a polygon around from that standpoint. Once I've got everything drawn with all my wells and well bores as I want to have them in there, uh, now what I want to do is say a layout. And to do that, I'm going to go to uh, insert a layout and if I go to new layout I have just the standard layouts but I can also import a layout and this is where you will import the layout for example that I, I have given you as a plat layout and you can go in there and edit that plat layout and put in the text where it looks very much like one of the plats or my plat that I give as an example. Once we're finished with that, what I'd like to see is us to push this up to ArcGIS online so we can see that information there. Later on, I'll show you how to actually do more of the well design in CAD and use FME to actually import that into ArcGIS. All right, well, good luck, and if you have any questions, get in touch with me.